Heidi Ho Econocrats, let's do the answer to question four of the short answer assignment. This is a simple calculation question. So you are asked first, given a table of data, to calculate the real GDP using the expenditure method. They would calculate it is by adding up consumption spending plus investment spending plus government spending plus exports minus imports. Uh, in the table it also has taxation but that was a red herring that served no purpose in answering the question whatsoever. I just threw that in there to um, well, it wasn't to trick you, but it was obviously to test whether you've been paying attention. All right, so you just plug in the data. So consumption spending was a thousand, investment spending was three hundred, government spending was two fifty, exports minus imports is twenty minus twenty, which gives us one thousand five hundred and fifty. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You might say, well, why aren't we including taxation in this story? We need to remember that um, the consumption expenditure is already given here. This is the total consumption expenditure. We don't need to calculate the total consumption expenditure. It's already given there. And that has already, within the calculation, which you didn't have to do, already had taxes deducted. Okay, That's why you didn't need to include taxes in this equation. The next part of the question was asking about the multiplier effect. That is, what happens to GDP, real GDP? How much does it increase by? when we increase investment spending by 100. So first we need the simple multiplier we were using, which is 1 over 1 minus little c. Little c stands for the marginal propensity to consume. And we were told that the marginal propensity to consume was 0.8. So the, mu the multiplier is 1 over 1 minus 0.8, or in other words, 1 over 0.2, or in other words, 5. So we're going to multiply the increase in expenditure, which is $100, by 5 to get the overall increase in real GDP. So the change in real GDP equals the multiplier times the change in investment spending. So that's 5 multiplied by 100 equals 500. That is the change in real GDP. Now we wanted to know what's the new higher level of GDP going to be. Well the new GDP equals the old GDP which we already calculated plus the change. Easy. 1550 plus 500, the change, gives us 2,050. That's the new real GDP. And that is the answer to that.